Chris, what is our third main topic today? This is from Vince. Hey, John and crew. I just read an interview with Michael Bay talking about his new movie, Ambulance. I think it looks awesome and can't wait to see it. But Bay made some comments saying that the CGI in his movie looks like shit. <laughs> what do you think of Bay kind of <laughs> trashing on his own movie? Or at least people who worked on his own movie. Thanks. Yep. Mm. And sorry, we didn't have the email graphic for that. Uh, my fault. Anyway, guys. So, uh, yeah. This is interesting. We kind of live in an era right now where it seems like every other week there's a story about director trashes somebody else's movies. Director trashes entire genre of films. Filmmaker insults audiences of a certain style. I mean, this seems like it's coming out all the time. What we don't often, and we even hear sometimes actors lamenting old films of theirs. Like, I'll never get tired of George Clooney <laughs> crying about his old Batman movies. That's fun. Very rarely, very rarely, do we hear from a director trashing on something about a movie he has coming out and is still yet to come out. Now, Michael Bay, who love or hate Michael Bay, and, and Michael Bay is one of those divisive figures. Some people quite like him. A lot of people don't like his films. I will unabashedly tell you that while I hate the majority of his Transformers films, I consider myself a Michael Bay fan. He's made a lot of films that I like. I love Armageddon. I don't care what anybody else says. I love The Rock. I don't care what anybody else says. I mean, he's made some... I, I love the first Transformers movie. He's made some good films to me. I got to admit, I am not all that interested in Ambulance. I don't personally think Ambulance looks very good. That's just me, but I know a lot of other people are very excited about it, and that's cool. But Michael Bay was just being interviewed and being asked about some effects in his movie, his new Ambulance movie. And, and this is what he had to say. He said the following. All those explosions and car flipping, that's all real. That's all live, real ratchets. It looks very dangerous, and it could be very dangerous if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Most of it is real stunts. There's very few blue screen shots on the movie. There's not a lot of CGI. Some of the CGI is shit in this movie. There's a couple of shots that I wasn't happy with, okay? All right. <laughs> so here we have Michael Bay coming out and saying, yeah, yeah, some of the, uh, the CGI in this movie is complete shit. Some of this is awful. This is before a movie comes out. I got to say... I have never heard of a director complain about his own film or casting parts of his own film under the bus or under the ambulance, as, as the case may be, before his movie's even coming out. And he's kind of thrown the VFX under the wheels here. Now, I've heard some people say that this is unfair for Michael Bay to, to throw his visual effects people under the bus. I don't necessarily know if that's what he's doing. It depends on his mindset. Because, look, at the end of the day, the director is responsible for what goes on screen, right? We all, know, we all know that. I mean, look, sometimes it's not a director's fault. Sometimes they just run out of time. They didn't have enough budget. Maybe, you know, maybe the visual effects company did drop the ball, whatever. But generally speaking, the director is, is ultimately responsible for what goes on screen. And this very well could just be Michael Bay calling himself out and saying, I didn't make sure that we had good CGI. I, I, maybe he's saying, I didn't communicate to the effects my artists, exactly what I wanted. I didn't give them enough time to do the revisions. I got shots to them late. For all we know, he's completely just complaining about himself. Either way, whether he's throwing his artists under the bus or throwing himself under the bus, we just don't know. It, it could go either way. I can tell you this. I find it oddly, I do not find it refreshing when one director bashes another director's movies. I think that's Bush League. And even when it's one of my favorite directors like Denis Villeneuve, I will call them out when they do it, like I did for Denis. But I find it all refreshing that a guy will will throw, will call himself out, call call his own movie out. I kind of like this, even though I'm a little bit shocked. Rob, I don't even know. Are you looking forward to Ambulance? And what do you think about Michael Bay's comments here? First of all, I'm probably looking forward to Ambulance more than I should, to be honest. I know a lot of people are. Um, you know, I've always thought that uh, drone technology could be used uh, for things like car chases in ways that haven't been done before. Because they could be flying around. If you have like drone racers, they could be flying in and around cars at levels you've never seen before. They've done that on this movie. And there's a great behind the scenes clip on YouTube about the drone pilot that was hired to shoot a lot of this film. And there is some absolutely exhilarating drone shots. I think drones have been overused in movies, but this they're using this in a very different way. So from that perspective, 
I'm looking forward to the Bayhem in this movie. I think there's going to be epic Bayhem in this film. But that said, hearing him talk about bad CG, I'm like, dude, you, he, he's actually pioneered visual effects technology. The Transformers, uh, the first Transformers movie, there's a shot when the Transformers are scaling the side of the Griffith Park Observatory from a distance, and the camera is pushing in like a helicopter shot. I thought that was jaw-dropping. There's jaw-dropping ILM effects in those movies. Armageddon, Pearl Harbor. He's always had really great visual effects in his films, whether you like him or not. So to hear that he was dissatisfied with CG in his movies, I found that a little flabbergasting, to be honest, because he's usually, say what you want, the guy has the best technicians in the business doing his VFX. So maybe it's because the budget... You know, obviously, for Michael Bates, this actually looks like a much smaller scale version of his movies, even though it looks insane. And the, the drone photography makes it even more insane. So it does kind of bum me out that he feels that way. But again, John, I don't know why he would let, why would he, why would Michael Bay let a shot come in? Because you, you have to do what's called turnovers. So when an effects team turns over their effect shots, you go into you go into a review session and you see them projected and the director can sit there and decide whether they're good or not. Well, how did he allow effect shots to get by that he wasn't happy with? Yeah, Chris, what do you think about this whole thing? I mean, first of all, I can't remember where's your anticipation level like for ambulance, if at all. <laughs> and what do you think about these comments? <laughs> I have no desire to see this movie, but I'm sure other people are going to find joy out of it. And listen, I like Michael Bay. I, I'm going to lose some credibility. I like that first Ninja Turtles movie. Uh, you know what? I think he didn't direct it. I, he didn't oh, he direct it. He though, right? He, he was a producer on it. You yeah. know what? I liked it too. I thought yep. it was fun. So what about yeah. Pain and Game? What did you think of Pain and Game? I like Pain and Game. Pain and Game I did too. Fun. Yeah, I thought Pain and Game was quite He does fun stuff. Yeah, you know the most important part about that Ninja Turtle movie? It was an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank Perfect you. <laughs> or was, something like that. It was that. Chef Pleasure's consumption. It was so good. So I just don't, this doesn't look like my kind of movie, right? It's it's heat. It's heat. Is That's all it's it. Come on. <laughs> they sing Christopher Cross in this movie. Sailing. Oh, see, I got excited when I thought you were going to say they sing Criss Cross. <laughs> I mean, that could make you. That would have been jump. totally different. I mean, that yeah, that would have been. I was, yeah, I was totally into it at that point. He would have. You would have been performing at the AMC. I could have. Totally you would have been, been break there. dancing for all the people. Yeah, my <laughs> my expectation is so low for this film. Um, and but I'm with Rob on this though. Is you're the director. You are captain of the ship. So once there's problems and other people have pointed them out, is that when you do a, yeah, d that's a bit dog shit, isn't it? I agree, I totally agree. Uh, in this day and age, they can get it done, do it over. Do it, yeah, fix it. Is this, fix I mean, this it. must be the low budget indie well, version of I a mean, Michael look, Bay movie. Look, e even Michael Bay movies, at some point, you run out of time and, and money. you run out of money. I know. And at some point, just fix it actually doesn't become an option anymore. He could pay for it himself. You know how much that guy's worth? He has so much money. Yeah, yeah, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't it's, pay for No, I know. You never do. <laughs> One thing in Hollywood, you never pay for anything yourself. That's yeah. how come you get rich. Which is uh, which is why I'm not rich, because I pay for everything <laughs> myself. But uh, there Me you go. Me too. But it also, I mean, it's just it's just not a good look to, to dog on your team. I understand nope. when you take credit for yourself. I love that. I love when a director like you were saying is, hey, yeah, we should have done better on that. Hey, I, I take ownership of that. When you dog on other people and you don't take that responsibility, it's a bad look, especially in light of all the stuff with Aotsi, right? Of just working editors right. and, and animators and everyone to the bone. I mean, come on, man. We could have had a more constructive conversation on, about man. this work. Come on, Michael. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Are you looking forward to Ambus? I know a lot of people really are. So a bunch of people really like the trailers. They didn't really quite work for me. What do you think about Bay's comments? Do you think he's kind of throwing himself under the bus? Do you feel like he's throwing his artists under the bus? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Now, I started taking Athletic Greens because I don't eat enough vegetables and I was looking for a way to make up for that deficit in my diet of those vitamins and minerals that I really needed in my system and thank goodness I found Athletic Greens and I literally take it every morning. 
You see, with one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, all the things. And my wife got onto it, and now she absolutely loves it. You know, tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high-quality ingredients that your body will actually actually absorb like athletic greens. So right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash campia. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash campia to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance.